started off a big H in Dante We had a group called Smoking MCs Dante never showed up for practice So Big H suggested we bring in his homeboy Big G He was known for the beatbox It was more original than instrumental So we let him join the crew But he was too shy to do it in front of people in shows So we had to give him the boot Big H and Big G was smoking and drinking buddies So Big H broke out with Big G They was in the hospital getting their stomach pumped And the only one kept rapping was me a couple of years went by and I hooked up with the Armstrongs We had a group called the Uncles Big U While we would be at my crib practicing They be stealing my shit and didn't think I knew So I left the motherfuckers and they kept stealing And the only one kept rapping was me I went a couple of years solo Then I hooked up with my boy GC We had a group called the Knockin' Boots Crew Also known as NBC Until that motherfucker got pent up And the only one kept rapping was me a couple of years later, Tony G and Too Fresh was talking about starting a label being independent. It was called Simply Raw Records. I told DJ Ice and uh, he was all with it. Tony G, he was the manager. At least the motherfucker was supposed to be. But uh, he didn't ever do shit. So we gave him the boot. Responsibility went to me. Ice ass was always late for meetings. Didn't show up or slept when he was there. All the responsibilities in the company was supposed to be divided, but Ice never gave his share. And Fresh got in with growth and development against the Disciple RVD. Soon after that he got pent up, Ice quit and all the responsibility was on me. All these years, I wasted a lot of ends and a lot of time. And if y'all don't want to get y'alls, then I guess I gots to get mine.